Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Young and I'll be guiding you through today's demonstration of the easiest to use CRM. Our company, Sofren, has been providing CRM solutions for 18 years to the small and medium sized business market and has hundreds of successful installations. Sofren offers an integrated CRM which includes sales automation, lead management, marketing automation, customer service, project management, CRM portals, help desk, and more. It's an all-in-one solution to your total CRM needs. It's also cloud-based, so there's no investment in hardware or software. Let's get started with today's demonstration, the easiest CRM to use. First, we'll start with marketing automation. It's easy to use and part of the suite of integrated applications within Sofrent CRM. I select marketing automation from the applications drop-down menu. From my home screen, I can see all my active campaigns, my campaign performance report, and all my subscriptions. I can see all my campaign records from my home screen. See how easy it is to manage campaigns? Now let's expand a campaign to see how easy it is to perform different tasks. For example, if I want to create a new email message, I just pull down the action window and select Create eMessage. A window pops up so I can create my message. I simply type in my email message and I can even create a link so I can track it. Then I enable the read receipt so I can view who opened the email later. Now I have a new message associated with this campaign. To send out this message immediately, I can select Execute from the drop-down menu, select my message from the list, hit Execute, and it will go out right away. Alternatively, I can schedule this message to be delivered at a specific time. I just select Schedule from the menu and I'm able to select the message I'd like to schedule. Then I simply select the date and time I'd like it to go out and save it. I can also process bounced emails with Sofren's marketing automation application. In the campaign summary area of the home screen, you'll see a summary of the campaigns that have run. This is a history of the campaigns that have been executed. Now I'll run a campaign performance report. I go back to the home screen and select which campaign name and stage that I want to see a performance report on. I can see how many people were targeted the tracking information, and how many contacts clicked on the links. Notice how some of this data is underlined in blue. This indicates that I can click on those items to actually view additional data, such as which contact clicked a link. With my subscriptions, all I have to do is expand the subscription record, and I can see all the contacts associated with a subscription. That's all the navigation that I have to do from the home screen. Now I will log into the Sales Automation application. Here I can see all my work for the day. My leads, my opportunities, and my accounts to follow up with are all right here. Everything is on one page and I don't have to drill down to work on an activity. It's designed so that all of the day's activities are on a single page. Everything I am working on is on one line so I have a complete record of what I've talked with someone about so there's no need to click around to other places to find previous communications before I make a call. If I want to create a new lead, I click on New, and I get a form to fill out with all of the detailed information I need on a new lead. After I fill in all the information, I click Save, and it shows up in the My Leads section of my tasks when it's time to follow up on that lead. It's easy to follow up on a lead in Softfront CRM because everything a salesperson would need is on one screen. Let's say I want to make a phone call to a lead. I'm going to follow up on this lead with Carson Machines. I simply call Bobby, then click the Forward button to document the activity and to schedule a follow-up activity, and I'm able to enter in all the details of what I want to do in the future. I schedule a new date, update the subject, and enter details in the notes. I click OK and the activity is automatically forwarded to the next follow-up date. See how easily I can manage my tasks? I can do the same with my opportunities and my accounts.
let's say I want to promote this lead to an opportunity. I expand the view and go to the Actions pull-down menu. Next I select Opportunity and I am able to enter in additional details about this opportunity. Before I can promote an opportunity, I need to add additional information. I need to add a budget, a decision date, and what product they are interested in. I also can include some notes about why it was promoted to an opportunity. I click Save now and this lead is promoted to an opportunity automatically. It's also very simple to work with my leads. If I want to email the prospect, I click on their email address and up pops a pre-populated template for me to send an email. I just write the email, then click Save, and I'm also able to schedule a follow-up date right in the same window. Then the email is sent and saved in the communication record. I can also update the stage of an opportunity by clicking on Edit in the account record and adjusting the pull-down menu for what stage we are at, such as quote, purchase order, or even if the opportunity was lost. Then I simply click Save and my opportunity is updated. Once I receive a purchase order, I update the opportunity showing the purchase order was received. Then, to convert the opportunity to an account, I expand the lead record and pull down the action menu. It gives me the option to convert the lead to a customer, which I do. That moves the record from an opportunity to an account. Now I've completed all my activities for the day from one home screen without having to drill down to other menus to update what I've done with each of my leads, opportunities, and accounts. Everything is right in front of me and I've had a very productive day without any of the frustration that some programs cause when I have to use 20 clicks to do the same thing. If I want to see my productivity for the day or month, I simply go to the navigation menu on the top and select Dashboard to see my leads by campaign, forecast pipeline, and support matrix. Quick and easy. Now let's take a look at the customer service application. As soon as I log in, I'm taken directly to the home screen where it shows my assigned tickets. If I want to create a new ticket, I click New, enter in the customer's name, select them, select the type of product they're having a problem with, and then write a short synopsis of the problem. Then I type in the details of the problem. And if I happen to know how to resolve the issue immediately, I can record the solution in the solution box, change the status to closed, and hit save. This quick close feature allows me to resolve, log, and close a ticket right away. I can also assign tickets to someone else to resolve. I follow the same procedure as before to create the ticket entering in their name and selecting them, selecting the product they're having an issue with, and then putting in the synopsis of their issue along with additional details. Then I save the severity as high. Then I can go back into the ticket by expanding the view, pulling down the action menu, and selecting assign to assign it to someone else. When I assign it to a specific queue in person, it is automatically routed to their ticket resolution queue. I can also send a follow-up email to that person, giving them more details about the problem and suggested solutions. This will be recorded in the notes section so that the engineer receiving the ticket would have a permanent record of the communication. Now I will show you how SoftFront's visual tools make it simple to visualize your workflows. SoftFront gives you a visual designer to create, edit, and view your company's business process or workflow. 
Most CRM applications require a data-driven method to customize the workflow, requiring you to visualize in your mind how your business processes flow. But with Softfront, it's all right in front of you. So here I am in the workflow designer. A lead is entered into the lead database and then qualified to convert it to an opportunity. Then the opportunity is converted to an account. Now let's say I want to purchase a list from a vendor and add it to the lead database. But until these contacts are qualified by my telesales team, I don't want to upgrade them to a lead. To show this in my workflow, I right click in the open space and it brings up a new state which I will label list. Next I save it and then move it to where I want it. Next, I want an action to be associated with it that I'll label qualify. I create the qualify action by right clicking on the screen and save it. Now I want to link the states list and lead with the qualify action. So I click the link states button, draw a line between list and lead, and the action dialog box pops up. From the pull down menu I choose the label qualify and click add action. Now I want my telesales team to be able to edit the records, so I click on my list date and draw a line back to the list date box. It appears as a circle since it's a self-referring action and only affects the list state. If I want to move my list state box, I simply drag and drop it to where I want to see it. With a few clicks, I've updated my business process and Softfront CRM has created necessary code behind the scenes to handle the new flow. I've allowed my business to import a list and include it in my lead management module. Now I will show you how to customize without programming with Softfront's Visual Designer. Every business has different needs on how they customize their CRM database. With many CRM applications, programming skills are required. Softfront's visual tools, with their powerful drag-and-drop feature, allow you to design data entry forms customizing the database behind the scenes. Here's an example of the leads form that we can modify. Let's say you wanted to add a new field to indicate what product the prospect is interested in. You simply click the plus button to add a new field, enter a name, and a label, and then write in a description. Next, you can select what type of field it should be from the variety of options you see here, such as text. You can also select what kind of field attributes that you want. You can choose by simply clicking a box, whether it's a required field, an email address, or even a calculation field where there is a calculation behind that field. Again, you can do all of your form design without programming. Next, you can easily move your text field with Softfront's drag and drop feature. Then you can use the field alignment tool to align and size your field boxes quickly so they are all aligned and sized to match. Isn't this easy? Now let's say you wanted to change it from a text field to a list field. Double click the field and update the type of field from the drop-down menu. Select List, then select the Value List button. Here you can create your list items. For now, let's define one as Product 1 and the other as Product 2. Click Strict and then these will be shown in the drop-down menu in the field of what you'd like to be shown in the list view. If you want to preview the changes you just made, click the preview form and now you can see exactly what it's going to look like. See how the list drop down menu shows product 1 and product 2 to choose between? Now let's create another field. Click the plus button to bring up the field definition page. I enter in the name Notes and label it the same for my new field. Next I enter in a description of the field. 
Then I select the type of field I want to create. I have many different types of fields to choose from. In this case, we're creating a notes box, so we want room for lots of text, and so I select long text from the list of the types of fields I can create. Now this long text field appears on my form so I can move it around and resize it to fit and be exactly where I want it. I can move it easily with the drag and drop feature in Softfront's form designer. Notice how I'm not limited to just a two column format. I can move the notes over to the right, making my form three columns. I make sure to save my changes before I go to view it in preview mode. In preview mode, I can see my form again with the new changes. You can see how the right side of the form has plenty of room for detailed notes. My form is complete now and I can begin using it. If I change my mind, I can easily delete the notes field and then the product field. I could design something entirely different or use the form as it currently exists. Softrance Form Designer brings powerful drag and drop tools so that you don't have to be a programmer to customize your forms. We make it easy for you to customize your CRM to fit your business. Drag and drop makes Softfront Forms Designer easy and simple to use for anyone. Most importantly, you get the powerful feature of extending your CRM database with a visual tool. We hope today's demonstration showed you how easy it is to use marketing automation, sales automation, and customer service all within Softrun's integrated CRM. We also hope you can see how simple it is to create, edit, and view your business workflows and forms without customizing using Softrun's visual tools workflow and visual designer. We'd love the opportunity to show you a more personalized demo and have a salesperson get in touch with you to discuss your needs further. Contact us at www.softfront.com or call us at 1-800-SOFTFRONT.